Hi, I'm Noah Hutchins, and I'm a freshman guard at Rice University. So Buffalo's always going to be something special um, in my heart, no matter where I'm at. Everyone that supported me, even people that doubted me, it just kind of made me who I am. My mom played at University of Buffalo. Dad worked at the university, so I was always at UB. Just kind of just watching the boys practice, the girls practice, and kind of just stuck with me since then. Starting ninth grade, I started as a freshman. It wasn't, definitely wasn't easy. They always had me in practice going against the starters, but it helped me a lot. I think my role was more not to score as much, but it was, it was to make my teammates look better, to get them the ball, make sure everyone was happy. And a lot of things happened junior year. So outside of basketball, my house had burned down. Just knowing that like any, at any point in time, it can get taken away, like whatever you love, it's, it's, it definitely opened my eyes. And so I went from that year, staying in a hotel the whole year of school, every morning, 5 a.m., and I would walk here every morning to come work out. So I used to come in here, probably get here around 6 o'clock, work out, go into the office, shower, and start the day of school. And that was the whole year. And I think that kind of just got more hungry to win. And that's when that state championship hit and the federations hit and it was worth it. That was the most exciting one, being able to win that as well as federations where we like, had the buzzer beater. But then senior year definitely hit home where I was able to play with my little brother for the last year. I couldn't imagine what, how I would feel if my um, state championship got cut short by the COVID. Some advice I would give to people that are off right now um, about playing is just keep working and you never know who's watching. I used to go to these little leagues and play or even pick up and one time there was just a dad there. It looked like a dad. Um, he was just watching us play and, and I guess he had asked about me after and I didn't know who it was and I kind of just act like a normal person. Just, I talked to him like a normal person. They were like, you know who that is, right? And it was a college coach and I was like, oh wow. So you just never know who's there. So, so getting the player of the year, I think it was a blessing. But at the end of the day, like it's just a, it's a award. So like I know it's a lot bigger than that. It's not. It wasn't about me. I say I checked my ranking pretty often, and so you see a lot of kids nowadays, like even in Buffalo, super talented but have no no recognition. As time went on, I kind of just realized it really it's, it's just a star. It's nothing like you guys see me at the end of the day when I'm like, on the court, and so we'll do it there. I think just know my role. Um, was the most important thing I did to get colleges and like prep schools looking at me and stuff like that. Not trying to do too much. Like everyone's so hyped up or so much, or so focused on the scoring and the highlights and like all the oohs and the ahs. But at the end of the day, coaches don't care about that really. They they want to win. I got injured my senior year. No one really knows about that because I really didn't like say it out loud too much. But I had torn ligaments in both of my feet. That's pretty much why I chose to go to a prep school route, route instead of just going straight to college, was just to make sure by the time I was ready for college, like I was fully recovered, fully healed. Um, IMG was like AAU, um, you had a bunch of talent. We definitely have a lot of talent, just like other states do and other cities do. I was more shocked that it wasn't harder, I feel like. Like, hearing about this stuff, watching all these videos and stuff of all these kids, and then kind of went out there, it's like, it's not really much different than playing here. Like, there's definitely talent here that can compete with talent out there. So I first imagined playing Division One probably in seventh grade. I was like, man, I think I could really play if I actually took it seriously. And um, me and my dad started talking about like working out and like how it can't just be, can't be doing the same thing everyone else is doing. I committed to Rice at the end of February. After picking that school, I kind of just like, like just dropped a lot of weight off my shoulders. And, I think for me, it was more about relationships more than it was about the name of the school, not so much like the hype of the school. As an athlete, yeah, you can obviously play professionally, but like at the end of the day, it's gonna stop. And so you wanna make sure you have something set for after you're done playing. The favorite part about my game, I think, is that I'm not just like one-sided. I can score if I need to, but as well as getting my teammates involved. So most important thing I think for young players to focus on for their game is not getting caught up in the hype, because there's always somebody else that's better, and it's always going to be like that. And so if you get satisfied at an early age, I feel like that's when it kills you growing up. So the relationships that I made and the places that I've been able to go, I think without that, without basketball, I don't think I would have been able to do all that. I just think basketball is always going to be a huge piece. I definitely want it have it any other way than it is now. Whatever you do, do it because you love it. 
don't do it for other people's approval. Don't do it because you think it looks, makes you look cool. Never take it for granted if you do, and you'll see the results in the end.